Divorce, custody battles and the death of a stepson. Uh, these are some of the tragic headlines surrounding R&B superstar Usher over the past few months. Now add to this rumours of drug use and infidelity and the usually private singer is ready to sort fact from fiction. Yeah, he sat down with the Queen of Talk on her uh, own network series called Oprah's Next Chapter. Surprising even the veteran host, host with his candid responses to her tough questions. He's the R&B hitmaker who in recent times has dominated gossip sites as much as the music charts. I had read that you had said that you relieved your mother of the, her manager of duties. Their accusation was that I was on drugs or something. Drugs. Did you have uh, a relationship or sex with her bridesmaid? Now, Asha wants to set the record straight. We've been trying to get you to talk for three years and you haven't. Why did you finally decide that you would let me come to your house? Partially uh, because I wanted you to see my crib and, and understand how, how fly I got. <laughs> really just give me the opportunity to have a voice mm -hmm. because there's so much that's been said, I've not been able to address it. First on the agenda, his two-year marriage to stylist Tamika Foster, a relationship which attracted widespread opposition. Really the premise was I really wanted to do things right. Um, or at least the perception of what right may be. Yeah. You know, I, I impregnated this woman. You know, we were in a relationship, we were in love. So I felt like, you know what, this is the right way to do things. Mum and manager Janetta Payton was so against their union, she refused to attend the wedding. Around the same time, her son fired her. I had read that you had said that you relieved your mother of the, her manager of duties, but it had nothing to do with your ex-wife. No, it How didn't. could that be? How could that be? It didn't. When did you know the marriage wasn't going to work? I really felt like the marriage was not going to work um, before uh, Navid was born. I did get a great sense of the insecurities that were there and the fact that she wasn't coping well with, you know, being in this position. And being I felt in the like position of I'm mar being married to Mrs. Raymond. Yeah, being married to Usher, and I reasoned with her. I went to therapy. I actually tried my hardest. We spoke to friends. I challenged and charged, you know, our personal friends with the responsibility of trying to help us stay together. It just, it didn't work out. In May, the fallout from their split played out in a very public court battle for custody of their two young sons, Usher Raymond V and Navid. She made us enemies in a way that I could, I could never understand. To, I guess in defense and, and, and it wasn't until I was on the stand where I cried that I then realized, oh, this is an attack. What made me cry on the witness stand was the fact that I had to, in that moment, conjure up what I had to live in Berlin. Okay. Because I guess their accusation was that I was on drugs or something like that. And I said quite the contrary. What happened in Berlin was a breakdown in front of thousands of fans. I'm so sorry. Usher simply stopped singing and left the stage. I'd even said that I had a sinus infection because I never talked to anybody about mm -hmm. my breakdown. I didn't want them to say, oh, wow, he's unstable and can't, mm -hmm. can't cope with being a, uh, an entertainer and a et cetera. So that was what was going on in my mind. It was because I could not see my boys. A suspected drug use wasn't the only allegation levelled at the superstar by his ex-wife at trial. She also accused him of cheating. Were you faithful to her? Towards the end of our marriage, um, I found myself lost. And I just wanted out. Did you have uh, a relationship or sex with her bridesmaid? I did uh, have uh, exchanges with her. Um, we were friends. Mm -hmm. She was someone who was a part of the children's lives before. Mm -hmm. And it had always been perceived that we were in a relationship or either had some exchange. But was this after the marriage? This was after the marriage. Two months ago, their bitter dispute was interrupted by tragedy. The death of Tamika's son, Kyle. I asked that we not go back to court. It was a personal request that I made to the judge, a personal request I made to Tamika. I even had said to her, you know, in my visitation of Kyle at the hospital that... You went to see him? I went to see him, mm -hmm. yes. And while there, I said, you know, this right here is obvious. 
uh, evidence why it's not worth fighting. Because when we're fighting for our children's lives, that's all that matters. Were you at the funeral? It hurts me to say, it hurts me to hear the fact that people speculated and said that I wasn't at the funeral because yeah. I, I've, I, I absolutely was at the funeral. Since winning sole custody of his own children last month, Usher's had to make a few changes. Are you now ready to make your children a priority? I've had to temper my life to be there for my children. That's what I'm asking. I don't travel as much. OK. How are you going to do this? How are you going to do this? Well, Primary one, custody. I don't travel as much. Aren't you on tour most of the year? No. Still, this full-time dad is dating again, linked with manager Grace McGuire. Have you or do you make love to your own music? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you caught me. All right. Um, some may say this would be rather narcissistic. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, I would. <laughs> I think I do a pretty good job I at think it. so. I, I'm a good motivator for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> do, you make, do you make love to the morning show videos? <laughs> what? Coming up for you. That's why we don't have a theme song. Have you noticed we don't have one? We should... We, we could By get Usher. <laughs> By Usher.